What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be about what to do after a cheat meal, cheat day, or just messing up on your diet. The reason I want to make this video is because this past weekend I went to Vegas and the weekend before that I went to Texas which I made a video on that it's the video before this one if you guys haven't seen it and I was really proud because I was just like super on point with my diet I stuck to everything while I was traveling and I was just like really excited about that and going into Vegas I was even more prepared this time I had packed all my meals I posted like a really cool picture on Instagram with like how on track and how prepared I was. There was supposed to be a fridge in Vegas, there was supposed to be a microwave, so I was totally good. I had prepared all my food. And then I get to Vegas and they don't have a microwave because of the lovely COVID. So that kind of just messed everything up for me. I literally called the hotel, tried everything to get a microwave in there and they just were not having it. I went to several different like restaurants and Starbucks and stuff like that and no one would like heat up my food or help me out because of COVID. Like they just were not allowed to no matter how much I tried to sweet talk them. Yeah, so I, it left me eating like cold food for the first day and then the food just kept like freezing because the refrigerators in the room were so small that it would just literally become frozen. So there wasn't really much I could do, but these things happen and in the past, I think something like this would really, really bother me because I am so like all or nothing. And although I was frustrated, there really wasn't anything I could do. So I did my best with the weekend and my coach also gave me a cheat that weekend. Got a freaking cheat from Linda. So exciting, unheard of, but the cheat was amazing. I got burger and fries and I was so full. I didn't want to finish it, but I knew I had to, especially because I wasn't even able to get all my meals in because of like the situation that I was in. And then the next day also just like ate out because my food was frozen. Things happen sometimes. We mess up on our diet. We get off track with our diet, whether we're messing up because something's out of our control or because we're just messing up on our diet because people mess up on their diet sometimes. And it's so important to make sure you do the proper things after cheat day or cheat meal so that things don't become an issue or become a cycle or a problem. So what you need to do after messing up on your diet or having a cheat day or cheat meal is to go exactly back to the plan that you were on. Just go right back to it like nothing happened. Don't restrict your calories. Don't try and burn off extra calories. Don't do more cardio. Don't starve yourself the next day. Nothing like that. I feel like people already know this, but maybe not. <laughs> but I just want to make this video in case there are some people out there that still struggle and don't know what to do after messing up. It's okay. Don't mess it up more by trying to balance it out. Just go straight back to what you're supposed to do. Learn, like I learned that I'm not going to Vegas anymore while I'm trying to do this while there's COVID if I don't have a microwave. And maybe you'll learn that the food wasn't worth it or whatever it may be, but don't do that because there are repercussions physiologically and psychologically that come with trying to fix your mess up. You don't need to do that. Just go right back to it, drink your water, have your vitamins, eat the foods you're supposed to eat, the macros that you're supposed to hit, whatever it is, don't restrict yourself. I can't say it enough. Do not do that. That is why so many people have like these binge cycles, if that's like how you messed up on your diet or like if you binge or something there's so many people that still struggle with that and i have like way in the past struggled with that but the reason people continue the cycle is because part of that cycle is restricting yourself and feeling bad afterwards just skip that part don't do that part get right back to it forgive yourself you're human you messed up understand why you did that and try to make it better for next time what you gotta do. 
Something that also helps me if I'm not feeling too good after a cheat, especially this time I was so freaking full and sometimes a few days after it's hard to eat too if you did eat a lot or a lot more than your body's normally comfortable with. Some supplements that help me with digestion are the digestive enzymes I take from First Form and then I also take Metabolic Extra from uh, pure encapsulation. I have those linked in the description, but those help so much with higher carb meals or just like higher calorie meals to help your body digest the foods properly and make sure that you're getting like proper nutrient absorption in. So those are super helpful. I take those with all my higher carb meals or higher calorie meals. And also after having cheats, your gut health might not be the best. So taking your reds and greens are so, so important for optimal gut health. Your gut is literally your second brain. So if you're not feeling good, after a cheat and it's not just because you're mentally upset it could also be like a physiological thing if you're not feeling good taking care of your gut health is super super important and you should just be taking that in general I like to just make sure I'm always taking those I, I did it in Vegas because again like I just did a really bad job in Vegas if I'm being honest but now that I'm back once I got back I made sure that I hopped right back on that taking everything that I need to take so that my body can work well and it can work optimally and function optimally so that I can feel good and continue with my progress. I just wanted to make this video because it's something that just kind of happened to me and I want to keep you guys updated and I don't mess up really ever or mess up on my diet so I also want to show you guys that it happens to me and I want to just share that with you guys. Maybe it'll help you guys not feel so bad if you mess up. It's completely okay. It doesn't need to be a mess up. Just move on, get back to training, get back to working hard, get those calories in, drink that water, get those vitamins in, and you're gonna be okay. Especially if you've been consistent and you're putting in the work and you're doing the work, your body really shouldn't change that much. Maybe after you, after the day that you had the cheat meal or the cheat day, whatever, you may see some water weight a for a few days lingering afterwards or like a day or two um, and see the scale go up that should come right back down if you're being consistent and you're doing everything that you need to do so hopefully this video was helpful it's just like a quick little tip for you guys for whoever may need it if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who may also need to hear this and subscribe for more videos and to just see me more often I'll see you guys in the next video.